Hi, I'm Vern Sargas here for another edition of Inside OSU, and today we are standing in the lobby of the West Watkins Center, which is the hub of our international programs here at Oklahoma State University. Uh, we really want to thank Wes Watkins for his leadership in Congress uh, to help get this beautiful facility and very important facility established. One of the major goals we have with our international outreach program is to give our students an opportunity to study abroad. In fact, I would like to be able to send a letter to every incoming freshman at Oklahoma State University saying during your time here at Oklahoma State, we expect you to spend one semester studying abroad. But that's in the future. And, uh, and that's a very lofty goal, an audacious goal, uh, but I'm committed to achieving that. We have three students today I want to introduce you to who have been on study abroad programs and I think can provide valuable insight into the benefits. Let's go meet them now. Well, this is David Banks, who is a uh, mechanical engineering and Spanish double major from Owasso, Oklahoma, yep. and just returned from a study abroad experience in Mexico. That's right. Uh, how did you happen to, how, what made you decide to do a study abroad? Well, it was actually about two years ago. Uh, we had a Mexico international student that was staying with me in the university apartments. And he really inspired me to just go to Mexico and see what it was all about. Because he seemed like he was having a lot of fun here. So did you uh, use the our international studies program here to make arrangements? I did. Actually, what happened was I, I did a st uh, summer study abroad in Puebla, Mexico. So I did one summer there, and then that inspired me to go back and do a whole semester. And you did that in Toluca? That's right. And uh, what was the university? That was La Universidad Autónoma del Estado de México, La UAM. Say that again five <laughs> times real fast. You obviously took courses, and you get grades, and you earn hours, and, and so on. And you saw a different society and I assume made friends. What, what was the biggest benefit of this whole experience? The biggest benefit really, I think, was just actually getting to know the other culture and seeing how they live day to day and how that really differs from our, our perspective of the world. Has this uh, inspired you to do more uh, international travel and international business? Oh, absolutely. I would love to maybe work in Spain or in South America or something like doing doing engineering in a foreign, a Latin-speaking country, it would be great. Well, David, it sounds like you had a great uh, experience, and we want all of our students to do that. And now we're going to hear from another student who went to a very different country than Mexico. Stay with us. I'm talking to Liz Howard, who is a uh, graduate student in international studies, about to receive her graduate degree. That's uh, Liz, you are from Warrensburg, Missouri. That's right. And you uh, went to a very different place uh, for uh, for international study in our study abroad program. That's Tell right. us about it. I went to Mid Sweden University in Sundsvall, Sweden in spring 2005, and I was there for six months. How did you uh, choose Sweden? Well, I didn't have a strong uh, foreign language background, so I did go someplace where they offered English courses, but when I returned, that increased my awareness to take a foreign language um, based on the few foreign languages that I knew. Which one did you choose? Um, I started studying Spanish when I returned. I so see. I took Swedish courses there. Um, and but, what? what? What were the courses that you took? Uh, it was kind of media and communications based, uh, cultural focus, and more kind of a business. Where did you live while you were there? I lived in a place called Naxta, and it was, I lived with two German girls. Um, all, there was about 45 different exchange students, and we all, all lived between four or five floors of an apartment. So it was a great cultural experience. Were they in school at, uh, at the university mm -hmm. with you? Yep, they were all attending school. I so. see. Mm -hmm. the, uh, describe the experience. I mean, what, how, does, how did it change you if it did? Yeah, well, I think it just offered an international perspective that I wouldn't necessarily have gained from sitting in a, a classroom. Um, it helped me learn more about myself and who I was as a person and just kind of gain a worldwide view of and where I wanted to go with my career. What would your advice be to other students who maybe are considering this uh, kind of an adventure? Well, I would suggest um, kind of step out of the box and look for some place that would offer you a new perspective and that has a large cultural focus. Um, get to know the students there, get involved in the activities at, at the school that you're attending and just get to know international students. Some of my friends I've you know, had for three years now. So. Well, thanks, Liz. It sounds like you had a great experience. And now we're going to talk to another student and find out about his experience studying abroad.
Well, I'm here with Ronnie Miller, uh, who is an economics major from Duncan, Oklahoma, a senior this year, Ronnie. And yes. Ronnie just returned from a semester abroad in Thailand where he studied at a very prestigious university named Chulalongkorn University, which is one of the top universities in Thailand and one of the easiest to pronounce. Mm -hmm. uh, Ronnie, what, what, uh, how, how did you choose Thailand? How did that work? Um, well, I had a lot of uh, international friends before I went over there, so it made me want to go study abroad. And then um, I really wanted to go somewhere that was completely different from the options that Reciprocal Exchange offered. So Thailand was probably the most different from all the locations I saw. What's Chula Longcorn like? I mean, does it look like Oklahoma State? The university is at the center of Bangkok, so the buildings are a lot closer. And um, actually, Chula Longcorn owns a lot of land where they just have big malls that are rented out there um, from them. And a lot of times, just uh, even the life, like you'll go to class, but then after you go to class, you hang out at a mall. Or if you don't do that, you hang out on campus, but they just usually are studying together, or they just play games together. And they actually have the university set up to where whenever you come in, as a freshman, you're put into groups, so you have almost like a family. Were uh, there a lot of other international students there? Um, yes, there was a total of 40 students there. I see. So did you get the opportunity to learn a lot about the culture in Thailand and meet a lot of the, the uh, natives? Oh, yes. Uh, I got a lot of opportunities to do that, and we actually got to travel a lot together um, with all the exchange students together around Thailand, so we really got to see all the culture of Thailand and every aspect. It was really nice. Had you traveled abroad a lot? Uh, before you took this, uh, this study abroad uh, mission? Um, no, actually I have not studied abroad. I, I've never been abroad really until this time, so. It was, well, has this whetted your appetite for, uh, for more experiences like this? Oh yes, it's made me just want to go and travel more and more, even around the U.S., which I usually never even think about traveling around the U.S., but I really want to see a lot more of the world. Thanks, Ronnie. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Here I am with Jerry Al, who is the director of our study abroad program. And Jerry, we're standing in front of a picture of Henry Bennett, which you can't quite see because mm -hmm. of our, friend, our friendly students that have just returned. Mm -hmm. But uh, he truly was a big believer in the principles and the advantages of study abroad. Indeed he was. And it's very appropriate that we're standing in front of his uh, area because actually two of his grandsons were among the first study abroad students who went through the study abroad office about 10 years ago and they went to Malta mm -hmm. for one semester and to the Netherlands for the second semester. Well, we've been talking to some of our students about study abroad. Tell us how we're doing. We are doing very well. Actually, we've had a, a very steady increase in study abroad numbers over the past 10 years. And the students, this is what we're noticing, an increase in student interest. As study abroad, the, uh, the concept of study abroad enters into the campus culture. It's now a natural thing to study abroad. It's not unusual. It's right. almost expected. If a student's interested in this, they can come to the study abroad office, which is in the student union? That's correct. Yes, it is. Where it's is it in the basement of the student union, and that would be the first stop for students who want to study abroad. I'm sure anybody watching is interested in the cost. What's the, what are the finances of this kind of a... Uh, uh, an effort. It depends on the type of program. It can vary from two to three thousand dollars for a short-term program to ten, twelve thousand dollars a semester for a longer-term program. In some programs, students can even pay OSU tuition and fees. And then they would pay their room and board um, at their host university. What is also available to students to help uh, defer some of these costs? Well, we have actually the students can use their federal financial aid for any type of study abroad program as long as it applies to their degree program. And there are scholarships, I Yes, understand. indeed there are scholarships. OSU offers a great number of scholarships. Um, for example, the Arts and Sciences College offers the, the um, Bailey Scholarship for study abroad in the humanities. The provost has set aside $150,000 for general study abroad scholarships. What about our faculty? How can our faculty assist in this whole program? The faculty already assist. They are absolutely key to this whole process. And what, they, why is that? Well, that's because they bring their international experience into the classroom. They see the students every day and they encourage the students to study abroad. Obviously, there's nothing uh, more important now in the world that we live in. This interconnected global economy, it makes it essential that our students, as part of a well-rounded education, experience the cultures around the world. Absolutely. We need to be developing globally competent students. I think that's our goal. Well, that's great. Well, get in touch with Jerry uh, at the Student Union in the basement. 
Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. and learn more about these programs. There's a lot of help to assist you, and you could not get more benefit from your education than to spend some time abroad studying, just like Liz, David, and Ronnie have done. And perhaps you could say goodbye in your new language. Hello. Adios. Smarty time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.